Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. In this video, I'm going to share with you an experiment I did with lettuce. And it's basically lettuce growing in an hydroponic deep horticulture system. And the reason I did this experiment was to basically have an idea of the different parameters such as pH, ppm, ec that, that, that lettuce grows best at. So you know that you have a... a, a um, an optimal pH range, uh, ppm and EC. So I set about organizing a fairly um, simple setup, right? And I'll show you um, on this presentation that I put together of the entire experiment. So I don't want the video, the video to be too long. So as I said, originally or initially, I'm basically looking at the parts per million electrical conductivity and pH of the nutrient solution where the lettuce would grow best at right so let us see what we found out um first of all the materials that we use in terms of fertilizer we use veg grow um calcium nitrate potassium nitrate potassium sulfate and um the veg grow is basically um it has in most of the essential nutrients except boron um calcium and sulfur that is why I use calcium nitrate and potassium sulfate to add calcium and sulfur which are both secondary um, macronutrients and the boron is a micronutrient but after testing the water, doing a water analysis, it adds in some amount of boron so it is not necessary or it was not necessary to add in any more boron into the nutrients mix. Um, as it relates to other um, materials we use the oxygen pump with the hose and the stone right you connect all of those to supply the oxygen to the water you need a um ph ec meter like to, 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 to test the ph of the solution the electrical conductivity and it also the one the meter i have also checks parts per million you need measuring container to, to measure the nutrient solution to put in your reservoir you need book pencil or pen to obviously write notes for future reference you need the container that you're going to grow the plants in um you need styrofoam sheet um to put on the the top of the water you need electricity to run the pump the the the, 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 the oxygen pump you need the plants obviously and you need a knife to cut the holes in the styrofoam uh so this is basically the seedlings so so these here um These in the middle here, they are basically, um, these are the ones I, I, I took from, which are 12 days old, right? So from, yeah, so from setting the seeds to what they are now is basically 12 days. And um, from, from basically, when you put them out, when you transplant them, they take another 25 days to reach maturity. And um, it, so in total, it took 37 days from seed. To, have, to having a, a, a good head lettuce that is mature and ready to to, to send to market or to consume. Uh, so as you can see I use Oasis um, cubes and one seed per hole and as you can see these Oasis cubes you can basically break them off to get individual plants so that is what I did and, that, and then I put it in and that's so why I bore the hole in the styrofoam and then I, a small hole and then I push the oasis cube with the plant into the hole and the hole is tight enough so that the plant won't fall through the hole and another alternative is using net pots you could use net pots um, cut the hole in the styrofoam put the net pots in it and then you could put um, obviously you put a little uh, styrofoam um, oasis cube in a net pot it will the plant will basically have too much place so you could add some gravel or some clay pebbles to hold the 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 the, the, the oasis cube with the plant intact in one place right so that is another alternative so as you can see this is may 28 eight days after transplanting so one of the ox can can seedlings that were basically chlorotic from nutrient deficiency become green again and the answer is yes because look at these right compared to compared to the seedlings that we initially planted right which is these here look at how yellow they are right and then 
um, these now they're looking much greener at eight days after so um, one thing I want to point out is that initially with the nutrient solution I started with a PPM of 1322 right um, right that was the PPM I started and it had a pH of 6 now um, at, at um, May 30 I realized that the leaves if you, you can see on the edges here there will be another slide that will show you better but if you look on the edge right here you can see that like the leaf is becoming bleached at the hedge or a little bit white or yellow right um, that is basically a um, symptom of, of, of um, phytotoxicity caused from to the, the high ppm right so right straight off the bat we realize that 1300 over 1000 ppm is not so it, it, the, the lettuce will start will end will end up getting burned right or showing phytotoxic um um damages right and as you can see on the leaf edge so what i did too was that i planted two younger seedlings in 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 the mix to basically have some form of continuity um so that when these big ones you i take them out then i'll have these two to continue monitoring the system so um this is basically june 2 right and um as i said the the at June 2, what I let me see at June 2, I basically the, P, the PPM um, was at 966, right? 1.33 EC 5.2 pH, right? Um, so uh, I knew that I needed to to basically um, bring down the PPM, so um, I set about to kind of reduce the PPM because I wanted it to be in the range of between 800. And, and 852 because I realized that having the PPM in that range the, the plant basically looked better and um, the, the, the burning on the edges went away so um, this is at June 4 right um, this is June 5 right as you can see the plants are looking much better with limited burning on the edges right um are bleaching basically on the edges right uh so that's june 5 um june 6 right the smaller plants they are developing um the bigger ones are obviously getting larger but i can also notice a, a, a generally yellowing they're not so green as though i would want them to be right so the, so um what this is saying is that the one thing that could cause this is that the plant is not getting enough of certain type of nutrients so um, what i did was i basically ended up um changing the the nutrient solution right so i changed it um and you want to change the nutrient solution around about 12 days right so after you transplant your seedlings um as you reach the 12 day mark change your nutrient solution because i realized that at that point my plants um basically started to show uh chlorosis right um so what i did was i didn't change mine at exactly 12 days because i needed to find out at what stage or what um time in the growth period or the growth cycle does or will the lettuce um start showing nutrient deficiency so I didn't change mine until about about um, 18 days, I think. Yeah, somewhere there because I needed to confirm at how many days I'm, I'm, I start seeing nutrient deficiency and um, the need to change the water. So I realized that, okay, then at, at, I think it was at 15 days, right? Yeah, it was at 15 days that I realized that the nutrient deficiency was kind of getting bad and i basically decided okay then i'll backtrack a couple days before 15 so at 12 days i decided okay at 12 days it is best to change the water right in your reservoir so they are doing a large a, a commercial operation or just a small system like what i have here 12 days is run about a good time to to to, to change the nutrient solution and and had fresh nutrient solution so that you could balance of balance um, ions in the water because at this stage as I said um, the plant 
um, would have would have been um, would have depleted certain ions in the water. Um, even though you might find that your EC and your pH and your PPM is okay, it's okay because it's building up on some of the salt while others are depleting, which are um, important to the plant. So you need to change the water. So this is what I was showing you with the bleaching or the, the chlorosis on the edges. And I knew that it was phytotoxicity because as soon as I changed the, the nutrient solution and put it between 8 to 800 to 850 parts per million, it basically went away, right? Um, so um, this is basically June 7, right? And at June 7, I had the pH at 5.8, um, I had the EC at 1.14, PPM at 823, right? But at this stage, I was still saying to myself that um, they still look a little bit pale in terms of um, greenness. They didn't look as green as I wanted them to be, right? Um, this is June 9, right? Looking okay. As you can see, I'm not seeing much um, burning on the edges again because I reduce it to between 808 and, and 850 parts per million and they're looking a little bit better right so um as i said i changed the water i told you that earlier but it was it wasn't exactly at the 12 day mark as i as i as i explained to you but based on my observation and my calculations i know that okay then 12 days is um a good marker to change the the, the, the nutrient solution um this is june 13 right um this is june 13 and um at this point the lettuce they are they have become very large and i've decided that i need to harvest them right um and this is how they look basically right and in terms of weight um at this point i harvested them and in terms of weight the first one weighed 194.6 gram um the other one we had 195.9 the other one we 174.1 and then six on um 137.2 grams so if i had up all of the four lettuce that i that i harvested 194.6 plus 195.9 plus 174.1 plus 137.2 that gives me 701.8 grams and uh, basically 454 grams makes one pound so we just divide the 701.8 grams by 454 and we get 1.5 so it's roughly one and a half pounds of lettuce i harvested from this little system so this is a good system um to have in your in your in your garden right or setting up hydroponic system hydroponic system they, they, you know they can be very beneficial once you understand these different parameters so what have i concluded what have i concluded from this experiment i have concluded that um once you go over once you go over say for example um 900 once you go over 900 and gone into the thousands in terms of ppm you will start getting um tip burn or the edges being being bleached or are getting chloro chlorotic because of phytotoxic um reactions from the plant due to high salt content so i've 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 found out based on this experiment that a, a, a ph range between um, well not ph a ppm range between 800 to 850 is fairly okay right and then um uh, a pH of between 5.5 .5 to 6 is okay because that is the range that I kept it right um, all, nearly all throughout the, the experiment and then an EC of 1.1 to 1.3 is, is, is okay um, that is the range that I kept it in right and this is the, the, the result right so um, but if you notice i did not give you the formulation that i use i told you the fertilizer but i didn't give you the formulation and the reason is i still need to um they are not looking as green as i want them to so i'm going to revisit the recipe kind of do some tweaking to it add some more nitrogen to it and then now i'm do i'm going to do another experiment with the the changes in the nutrient recipe 
to see the results and then based on the result um then i'll share the recipe with you because i don't want to share something with you and then you end up with the problems or uh, you know or the, the issues that i'm running into right i want to give you like a perfect recipe that i that i've proved to to work well um based on the parameters that i've tested so i've given you an, an ideal ec ideal ppm um and i've given you the ph right um but as i said my lettuce they are still showing um a bit of yeah, um they're still looking uh, of a general um pale looking green like and i want them to look a little more darker in green darker green right so th this has been the experiment i I, be, I hope you enjoyed it um if you have any questions right um you can always uh put them in the comments area and please remember to subscribe to the channel and as i said i am coming to you with more experiments and what I want to do is I want to use other fertilizer products as well because not all of us might have certain fertilizer in our area. So I'm going to use a, a, a good amount of different um, fertilizers to do the same test with the lettuce. And once you do it with lettuce, you could basically grow other leafy greens in the system as well. So um, yeah, I'll see you again in another video. Bye bye.